It is 1997, the year that the Pokemon anime is actually supposed to release if we're going by our timeline. But yeah, I don't think anime is really going to be a thing in general in this universe, considering Japan, yeah, definitely not looking too hot right now. We have a fascist South Japan, and then a democratic North Japan. Yeah, the Ainu are here too, except for South Katafuto, which is also fascist Japan. And then does democratic Japan own, yeah, they own Okinawa, so I guess it's not really a clear North and South divide. It's just kind of all a mess. Korea is just in South Korea for some reason. They don't even have the North. I guess even in this universe, Korea is just destined to be divided. North Korea is actually part of uh, the elephant in the room. China! Holy shit, China! Which, uh, yeah, I guess it's just basically reforming the Qing, although for some reason they have this northern part of Siam, for whatever reason. They also don't have Outer Manchuria, that's still part of Russia, which, uh, yeah, they're democratic, but I don't know how, when 100% of their population is communist. And then we have the Kordiaks in Kamchatka, which are somehow fascist. I, I don't know why they were released, but okay. There's also Novgorod, who's also fascist, and and doesn't really have that great of territory. Yeah, it kind of just looks like they're a stroke over Russian territory <laughs> uh, with their capital in Leningrad. I guess we just had a stroke in the Baltic states. All this random shit here. Even the British Empire got this part of Estonia and also fucked up borders in Scandinavia, which, yeah, they're also fascist, led by Oswald Mosley. I love how Denmark is just migrated into Scandinavia. They only own Copenhagen Island, but they don't own the rest of their home territory, but they've just kind of migrated into Scandinavia, like Sweden and Norway. <laughs> I don't know why. Meanwhile, Belgium, uh, you may be wondering why I formed Pax Belgica like this. Uh, yeah, basically Belgium is usually divided between Dutch, French, and a little bit of German in the East, so I just decided to have them annex all of the Dutch, French, and Germans. But, uh, yeah, I guess I also added Italians to the Union, too. They just took all of Italy for some reason, except for for Sardinia. Yeah, that's part of British Italy, which is part of the Allies, and I guess they're also at war with Belgium, or, well, I guess fascist Benelux, who has formed the European group with, uh, some, uh, interesting members. Yeah. I also gave them Quebec, and kind of connected them to Louisiana, also wanting them to have Missouri and Wisconsin, because if you didn't know, Missouri also has their own version of the Cajuns, with Papa French, and then, uh, Wisconsin has so many Germans, it's basically Neustdeutschland at that point, so, yeah, might as well give them a over. But yeah, U.S. just took all that Quebecois territory, and, uh, yeah, I guess they're going fascist, but they're also part of the Allies with the British, so fair enough. Canada is also going fascist, we might see Adrian at some point if we were gonna go farther into the game, just that fucking demonic face scares me. Mexico is actually going communist, unlike the rest of North America. Uh, yeah, and I guess we got this leader. I've never seen this portrait before. Brazil? What What are you at war with? Peru-Bolivian Empire, but they're really in neither. They're in neither Peru or Bolivia. They're in Brazil. What, what the fuck? Why is Japan in Argentina? Originally, I gave a good majority of Argentina and Chile to Belgium because, well, I don't know, the Germans, the little German reference there, but Japan somehow has this part of Argentina. God, first it was nationalist China that was making its way to South America. Are we going to see Japan making its way to South America too? Well, either way, it's the fascist Japan led by Jiro Araki, interestingly enough. I, I don't know who this is. Don't know if this is an actual person or just a generic name. Oh god, you thought the Balkans were bad in our timeline. Oh, you haven't seen anything till you've seen this timeline. Holy shit, what is this? Looks like just a fucking stroke happened here. Why does Russia own this part of Hungary? What? Partium? I don't know what that is. Serbia is here with uh, this guy. I've never seen that portrait either. Fascist Serbska. We got a. Uh, I don't even know what that is at all, but it's also fascist. We got Yugoslavia is somehow still here, and uh, Slovenia, part of Croatia, and Macedonia. Albania, Montenegro, Dalmatia, and then, uh, Croatia, which is not even in fucking Croatia. <laughs> it's in fucking Herzegovina. We have Thrace here, which is not even in Thrace, it's in Plovdiv. 
in Bulgaria and the Middle East. Oh my f- oh, it's fucked up too. Uh, yeah, we got this random emirate. I thought it was Belgian considering the mustard yellow, but no, apparently not. Democratic Iraq, a fascist Syrian. I've never seen this portrait before. Who is this? The British have fucked up borders here, of course. Uh, Free India has just somehow exploded into Iran, which they're also part of the Allies, which is just a big fascist faction now. But yeah, honestly, I think the Allies are probably going to win this, sadly, because, uh, yeah, they got both India and China, so that's just a shit ton of manpower on their side. Like, holy shit, China. That is a lot of manpower. You know it's a good amount of manpower when it can't even fit inside the box. Australia has also gone fascist, of course, along with most of the British colonies. What about New Zealand? Yes, New Zealand has gone fascist with this creepy, greasy man. Papua New Guinea, uh, now they're still a puppet of Australia, like I gave it to them. Because I just divide up Indonesia, since I didn't think Belgium needed it. But, uh, yeah, Papua New Guinea is still democratic, even though they're a puppet to a fascist Australia. British Malaya is somehow still democratic, or actually, that's not British Malaya. That's Australian Malaya. Why is Australia always like the puppet British Malaya? I, I don't even know why the name doesn't change to Australian Malaya at this point, but okay. Also, why does Kenya only exist in Garissa. Why? They don't even have their usual capital of Nairobi. It's just Garissa. Why? <laughs> Why is this just randomly released? No wonder my game's slowing down. Also, I guess, uh, Congo y Nosta? Because, uh, yeah, Portugal just took all that shit. Well, most of the Congo, except for these two provinces, Stanleyville and Costermanville, that's also a British colony. Republican Spain is still chilling? Yeah, they're still here. I guess they're just staying out of it. Makes sense, considering there's no more common turn. Which, actually, let's look at the factions. What do we have? We have the European group which is mainly just Belgium and a couple scattered people. And then the Allies, which, uh, yeah, it's basically majority of the important members. Even Iceland is fascist in this universe. There's a lot of fascism in this universe for whatever reason. I don't think I would want to live in this timeline. Especially with Canada impendingly going fascist. Where I live, yeah, don't think I'm gonna be chilling much longer. Yeah, I think about the only thing that can make this worse is, uh, going without his historical AI, which, I mean, if this video gets a hundred likes, I will turn off historical AI, and honestly, I'm probably gonna regret it, but anyways, that's pretty much it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, as the majority of you are not subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Matani!